Hi, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. Today I'm going to walk through how to install Roadmaster's Reflex Steering Stabilizer on your 2016 Thor Hurricane Motorhome on an F53 chassis. Adding the steering stabilizer onto your motorhome, in my opinion, is a must. I've traveled a lot in uh, different RVs and driving without the steering stabilizer, and I've also driven with them, and you can definitely tell a difference. Uh, when you're driving without them, what tends to happen is you get a crosswind or maybe you're passing a tractor trailer and the wind that comes in between them, what it does is because you're so big, it's pushing you over while you're having to fight the steering wheel to keep it centered in the lane. Another thing that I've found is without the steering stabilizer, the motorhome tends to kind of float, If uh, is the way I explain it. What happens is you're going down the road and the motorhome kind of goes like this inside the lane and you're having to constantly adjust the steering wheel to keep it centered. With the steering stabilizer, the spring compresses and retracts. So when you turn the steering wheel one way, that spring is either going to compress or retract to bring your tires or your wheels back to center again, making sure that you stay center going down the road. It's not only going to make it safer for you and make it more comfortable for you and your passengers, but it's also going to make it a lot safer for any other drivers on the road because if you're going straight down the center of the lane, you're not going back and forth between the lines. The person that's passing you is not going to have to worry about what you're getting ready to do. They can see that you're going straight down the lane. Also, it's not it's going to keep you from getting uh, fatigued while you're driving. It's going to make your traveling a lot more enjoyable. So you can get to your destination, you can get your RV set up, and you don't have to go to bed right away. You can sit up and uh, go walk around the campsite or whatever and see who else is there, maybe meet some new people. Another thing that, a, that the steering stabilizer is great for, um, let's say you get a flat tire and it's on the front end. Because this motorhome is so tall, what happens is that nose is gonna dip whichever way that front tire is and it's gonna wanna pull that way. The steering stabilizer is gonna help, again, as it flexes out or stretches or compresses, with that flat tire, it's gonna to wanna to keep you on the road. A lot less muscling in the steering wheel you're gonna to have to do with the steering stabilizer on as compared to when you, if you didn't have it on. Now, when you compare this one to other types out there, um, some of them may just be a shock and it's giving you a little bit of pull and push, but Roadmaster's reflex steering stabilizer is giving you not only a shock, but it's also giving you the spring. So it's giving you double. And it's going to be much larger and much more durable than some of those factory ones or some of those aftermarket ones uh, that you see out there that, that some people may get on their motorhomes. The spring itself is going to have a nice red powder coat finish uh, to resist from rust and corrosion. And if you look at the shock that runs through the spring, it's going to have a nice black powder coat finish, and you can see it's very thick, along with the spring. The spring is very thick also, and the components that are attached the spring onto the shock, they're going to be an aluminum, so they're also going to resist rust and corrosion, and it's going to stay looking good, and it's going to work well for a very long time. If you watch the steering wheel, what we want it to do is to pull back the center, like that. Exactly what we want it to do when we're turning or changing lanes or uh, going around small corners. We want to be able to uh, let our steering wheel or our steering wheel is going to want to pull back to center. Again, keeping us going down the lane center. A couple of things uh, with the motorhome being this high or tall is you're essentially driving a box down the road. Uh, a couple other things that I will recommend when putting on a steering stabilizer is a front and rear sway bar. It's really going to help with the top of the motorhome leaning back and forth and front and rear sumo springs. That's also going to help with body roll and sway. Now that we've gone over some of the features of it, let's go ahead and walk you through how to get installed. Now before you start your installation or before we start the installation on the steering stabilizer, what I like to do is number one, make sure you have a flat surface to work on uh, because we're going to be working on the ground. We're not going to have to lift it up in the air. The next thing I like to do is find a flat surface, like a flat parking lot or something, and you want to find center on the steering wheel. Doing this is going to make it a lot easier and 
once you get the steering stabilizer put on because you're not going to have to make any adjustments or make minor adjustments if necessary. Hopefully this will save us from having to do that. So take some tape. I'm going to use electrical tape. Find your flat surface and what you want to do is drive slow and find where your vehicle is tracking in a straight line on the road. <clears throat> Once you find that center, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a small piece of tape, you're gonna go from your steering wheel to your steering column. And then we wanna cut the tape in half. The reason we wanna do this is so that when we get back to wherever we're working on the motorhome, when we park it, we take those two pieces of tape and we line them up we know we're centered. To begin our installation on our passenger side, behind our front axle you will have two nuts on the U-bolt. We need to remove these using an inch and an eighth socket to loosen them. Once you get two of them off, you're going to have a bracket that looks like this. We're going to be using this hole and this hole. You're going to make sure that this one is facing towards the center, so it's going to go on like this. And then you're going to reinstall the two nuts and washers that you just took off. Next you're going to have a bracket that looks like this. You'll notice this angle right here. This needs to go on the bottom of your tie rod. You want this part to face towards the front of the vehicle. So it's going to go just like this. You're going to add two U-bolts like this. Go over top of the tie rod like that. And then we'll put on a flat washer and a nylon lock nut. And we're just going to hand tighten these right now. Next you're going to need one of your hex bolts two flat washers and the nylon lock nut. We're bracket over here on our passenger side that we just installed. We're gonna drop the bolt down through it. We're gonna put on a flat washer. We're gonna take the end of our steering stabilizer. This is a stationary end. We'll slide it on, put on another flat washer and a nylon lock nut. Next, we're gonna take our second hex bolt we're going to go through the bracket, put on a flat washer, go through the end of your stabilizer, put on another flat washer, and then your nylon lock nut. Now we're going to take a 916 socket, we're going to start tightening our U-bolts on this bracket. We want to make sure that our spring is sitting as level as possible. Now the, with these being U-bolts, it's a good idea not to just tighten one nut down on one side, go back and forth so they tighten down evenly. Double check, make sure your spring's sitting level, and then we're going to torque these four to the specifications in the instructions. And we're going to take a three quarter inch socket wrench and we're going to tighten the two hex bolts that we have going into the end of our springs. Once you get them tight, you're going to torque them to the specifications in the instructions. Don't forget to torque down your bolts or your nuts go into your ear bolts. Uh, you're going to torque those down to the factory specifications for the motorhome or for the chassis. I suggest going out, test driving the vehicle, make sure you don't have to make any adjustments. If you do, uh, what you're going to do is loosen these four bolts and you're just going to slide this one way or the other. Again, make sure your steering wheel is straight uh, when you're making this adjustment. Now we're going to test it out, make sure everything is working correctly and make any adjustments necessary. We're back out on our test course again. And what we're looking for is a steering wheel to pull back. 
and when we have it driving straight that it stays that way it's not going to pull over one way or the other looks like everything is good we're driving straight we don't have to adjust our steering wheel to drive straight now that we know everything's working correctly that's going to do it for a look at and installation on the reflex steering stabilizer by roadmaster on our 2016 thor hurricane motorhome